Lane Orient remain your leaders over in League 2. Of course, opening up a three-point lead of the nearest and dearest. That's Stevenage, who will take advantage this weekend. We're going to take a look at it, all of it next. That's right, folks. Babbles Gaming on a production video today. We're looking forward to match number eight. That's right, in this year's League Two. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you're in, smash your subscribe button, bang up to all things League Two related, Papa Rose related, World Cup related, later this year. That's right, of course. Uh, three points the difference between Lane Orient and Stevenage, who, of course, have got a one point lead over Barrow. Uh, of course, breathing down their all next, all of their next is Salford City. Is it the year they get promoted? We'll take a look at it, all of it in a second. Of course, big shout to the VIPs, the other patrons. You know who you are. And, of course, don't forget to check in the links down below. I want to Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. And the Discord is wide open. Of course, what are we talking about? We are talking about this, guys. It is League Two. And these are the games from last weekend's action. We're going to bring you back up to date with that. Then the table. Then, of course, the prediction league to see who's kicking ass and who is socking ass. Uh, so let's get into it then. Of course, Bradford against Walsall. 2-1 uh, in the end. And I called it as bang on the schnozkies for me. Uh, so well done for me. Carlo with a 3-3 draw against Rochdale. I'm with a 1-0. Uh, Colchester to pick up a draw against Hartlepool. I'm with a 2-0 on that one. Uh, Steamish pick up a 2-1 win of a crew. I went the other way. Shit show XFC for me. Mansfield with a big 3 1 of Doncaster. I went with the Doncastians on that one. And again, I got it wrong. Uh, Gillingham nil, Swindon nil. Uh, 2 1 for me. Late Norway with a big 2 0 of a tram here. 3 0 it was with my eyes. Uh, I went with a 2 1 win for New Newport County over Grimsby. But guess what? Grimsby with, with a W in the end. Uh, Northampton Town with a 3 1 of a Barrow, of course, whose uh, flying high form has been absolutely phenomenal this season. Uh, and Salford, uh, 2 2 draw. It's Crawley. Surprise, surprise. Stockport with a 1 0 win of a Wimbledon. Oh, the 2-1 win. And Sutton did beat Halligate Town. 2-1 in the end. I went with a 2-0 victory on that one. So uh, that's my picks. I did all right. Not great, really. As you can see, though, Leighton Orient kicking ass and taking names. Uh, Bradford making up to moves up to eighth spot. So Sparky's boys are starting to click into gear. Steamers, though, in second spot. Is it the... Is it their season to get promoted? We'll see about that. And Barrow into third. Going down, though, is Rochdale and Hartpool. They are in trouble, of course. Uh, are they going to get out of it? I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But what about you guys? Of course, this is. I just want to remind you, I didn't really announce this, but, of course, the predictor of the month for August for League 2 was Jimmy Watson. So give him a round of applause. So, basically, he was topping the table uh, before the results of this prediction came in. Is he still topping the table? That's the question. Well, these are your winners. Well, Jimmy Watson had three points down there, so uh, it's not looking good for him. Alex Weller, Shepard, Chris Welsh, Hamza, James F. Uh, be safe to great and show Donna are up there with six so well done to you guys for winning this past week what has that done to you guys for the table well of course it does make a bit of a change doesn't it Jimmy Watton's down to second now uh, I don't know how that works out he got three points oh he must have had a good lead uh, ONA leads the charge 42 points on the board but Alex Weller in second alongside Jimmy Boy and then the chasing body pack but of course it is early days it's only a month in and again winning the predictor of the month gets you into a shot uh, for the end of the season glory uh, but we'll talk all about that as the season progresses because it's a long old season Season. So get involved, get in amongst it, cut before just League 2, 100% free it is, uh, get your name in lights, and of course compete for some big boys, compete against the big boys, get your name in lights, but these are the games coming at you for match day number 8, of course, that kick off this coming weekend, there might be a game, in, uh, is there a game this week, no there isn't, okay, we're going to jump to the deep end, of course, at the top of the hour, with the tram meet up against Stockport County, that's coming at you on Friday night, September the 9th, now these two sides have each other 19 times, in 1997, 8 wins for tram 4 for Stockport, and we've got 7 draws of course, tram though, 42% for them, just 1 minute 5, up against the Stockport County side, so just 1 minute 6, 6.5% for them moving forward. Last time around, though, over in Tramier in the league. It was a 2 win for Tramier back in January 20, 2009. Uh, wow, wow, wee, wow. That was in League One, might I add. Uh, meanwhile, they also played each other in the EFL Trophy knockout stage back in 2010. It was a 4-3 uh, win for Tramier, maybe after penalties. Stockport, though, picking up a 1-0 win over Wimbledon. Uh, that was, of course, back on the weekend. Tramier with a 2-0 loss against Leighton Orient. The odds, though, for this one, 2-1 to is your Tramier. 11-8 is your Stockport. 11-5 is your draw. Tramier are not having the greatest season. They're up to 6th deep. Stockport are actually up to... They're actually 18th. So a bit of a mid-table crunch clash here, but I'm back in Tramier to get the win. 2-1 win for them. That's to take three points and move the chains. Barrow up against Colchester. Of course, Barrow flying high. Up against the Colchester side who are doing uh, pretty shit, to be honest with you. But uh, played each other four times in 2021 with a piece. Two draws, of course. Barrow, they're winning four and losing two at the last six. 6 7 form for them. Up against Colchester side, just one minute six. Then 25% form for them moving forward. Once again, last time around, though, over in Barrow was a 3-2 win for Colchester. That was back in uh, September 2021. In fact, the home side hasn't won this game in the last four occasions. Uh, Colchester pick up a draw against Hartlepool. Paul Pools Barrow did lose to Northampton Town. The odds on this, Barrow 11-10 on for the victory, 25 is sure, 3-1 is your way win. Uh, I am back in, of course, Barrow with the W here, 
one nil win for them at home as uh, Colchester taking the L on this one. Crawley Town against Gillingham. Of course, Crawley are uh, in the struggling at the moment, but of course, Gillingham aren't doing much better themselves. Play other 12 times. So, Jordan 5 3 wins for Crawley. We've got eight wins for Gillingham, and we've got one draw, of course. Crawley are actually unbeaten in the last four, 50% form with the last six. That's one, two, lost two, and drawn two, of course. Up against the Gillingham side, just one minus six for them. 33% form for them moving forward. Last time around, though, in the league, over in, of course, Crawley, it was a uh, 2 1 win for Gillingham back in March 2015. Uh, they've also played each other in Crawley last season in the EFL Cup. A 10 9 win for, for uh, Gillingham on penalties. Gillingham, though, picking a back to back uh, uh, goalless affair or goal as uh, goal. They haven't scored in the last two games, uh, of course, drawing with Swindon 0 0 last time around. Crawley picking up a monstrous 2 2 draw against Salford. Uh, of course, also Crawley coming into this on the back of that win over over Pompey as well in the Football League trophy. So they've got a bit of bit of bit of fight right now. Uh, maybe they'll climb up the table. We've got 29 to 20 for your Crawley, 21 to 10 is your Gillingham, 2 to 1 is your draw here. 0 0 in the end. Crawley taking the point. Gillingham also, who's going to be the happier? I don't really know. Stevenage are doing a OK right now. Up against Sutton United, of course, coming at you over in Stevenage this weekend. Played each other three times to 2 to 1. 2 is a Sutton, nothing for Stevenage, and 1 draw, of course. Stevenage are winning 5 of the last 6. 83% form. Up against Sutton side also, 1 defeat past 6 games as well. 75% form for them moving forward once again. Last time around, though, in Stevenage, it was a 3 3 draw back in January 2022. That was last season. Uh, of course, Stevenage picking up a 2 1 win over Crew at Crew. Sutton with a 2 1 win over Hallegat at Sutton, of course. The odds on this one then, shall we? We've got Stevenage coming at you. 20 19 on for the race. 12 5 is your draw. 40 5 is your away win here. Back in Stevenage, just the 1 0 win over Sutton. And enough for the three points. And, of course, put themselves uh, in the mixer to go potentially top, depending on what goes on over uh, in Wimbledon, of course. Kicking on forward, it is Walsall. It is Northampton Town, of course, at the best Scott uh, coming at you as well this Saturday. Pleasure the 15 times, 7-9 was to Walsall, 4 for Northampton, 2 draws of course, Walsall though without a win in 6 now, in fact they haven't won the last 7 games, 8% form for them, up against North Northampton Town side, just 1 minute 4 for them, 58% form for them moving forward, last time around though over in Northampton, uh, scrapped that last time of the round at their best Scott, it was a 1 win for Northampton back in February 2022, uh, kicking off forward though, Water, Northampton with a 3-1 win of a Barrow, uh, Walsall did lose to Bradford City last time around, the odds on this one, 31-20 to is your Walsall, 70 to 10 is your Northampton Town, 12-5 to uh, 5 is your draw here, and back in, of course, a 2-1 win for Northampton Town. They are fifth at the moment, and a win for them. They could actually go second in the table, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Grimsby up against Crew, Of course, Grimsby doing all right, as are Crew. They're in mid-table. Uh, maybe even pushing for playoffs at the moment. 19 times they've played each other since 1998. Four was at Grimsby, 11 was at Crew. Four draws, of course. 58% form for Grimsby right now, winning two and losing two of the last four. Uh, Crew though, uh, without a win in four now, just one win six. Uh, 33% form for them heading into this. Last round, though, in Grimsby, in the league, it was a 2-0 for Crew back in September 2019. Uh, however, they also played each other this season already it was in Grimsby that was a 4 0 win for Grimsby in the EFL Cup Grimsby they'll pick up a 2 0 win of a Newport County uh, of course crew with a 2 1 loss against Stevenage who are flying high the odds on this one even Stevens for Grimsby 14 to 5 is your uh, away win and 23 10 is your draw I'm backing of course a 2 0 for Grimsby on this one at home uh, they're a decent side at home it's their away form that's going to let them down this campaign kicking off forward we have uh, Harrogate up against a Carlisle uh, Carlisle doing uh, where are they mid table Harrogate uh, struggling I would imagine played each other according to my eyes uh, around about uh, five times to 23. One four was Harrogate, nothing for Carlisle, one draw. Four defeats on the spin for Harrogate right now, 25% form for them. Against Carlisle's side, uh, one win in six, 33% form for them heading into this. Last time around, though, over in Harrogate, it was a 3 0 win for Harrogate back in April 2022. In fact, Harrogate have, uh, have won the last three and have conceded zero goals. In fact, they've conceded just one goal against Carlisle in the last five occasions. Goodness gracious me. Harrogate, though, with the uh, 2 1 loss to Sutton United, Carlisle with a 3 3 draw against Rochdale on this one. Coming at you though, the odds on this. What do we have on this one? 13 to 10 is your host, 12 to 10 is your way win. 9 to 4 is the draw. To, uh, 1 1 in the end. Point split right down the middle. Who's happier? Let me know again down below. Kick it off with Hartlepool. Uh, they are locking horns, uh, if I can find it, against Doncaster over in the northeast. Played each other quarter miles 11 times, 24, uh, 2004. Four was Hartlepool, 5 for Doncaster, 2 draws. Of course, just 1 minus 6 of Hartlepool right now. 33% form uh, for them. 75% form for Doncaster. 1 defeated past 6 for them. Uh, looking a okay at the moment. Of course, last time over in Hartlepool, it was a 2 1 win. That was back in May 2017. Hartlepool picking up a, a, a 1 1 draw against Colchester. Mansfield did beat Doncaster last round uh, at the keep mode. Of course, the odds on this one, then, shall we? We've got Harrogate uh, coming out. Sorry, Hartlepool 13 to 8 for the W. 13 to 8 is your Doncaster 23 10. It's your quite tight. You're going to go with a 2 1 win for Doncaster on the road as Hartlepool are uh, continue their struggles. Mansfield Town, uh, they're up against Bradford City, of course. Uh, 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 a bit of an interesting one. This one plays for the eight times in 2007. Three were for Mansfield, four for Bradford. And we've got one draw, of course. Four wins in the last five. For Massive United, sixty-seven percent form for them. Because the Bradford side just one defeat past five for them, fifty-eight percent form for them moving forward. Uh, of course, last round over at Mansfield was a three-two win for Bradford back in August twenty twenty-one. That was around about this time last season. Uh, Mansfield picking up a three-one win over Don.
on Kessler Brapper with a dual win over Walsall. Uh, the odds on this Badgerino, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, what have we got going on here? Master 11 to 10 for the victory. 12 to 5 is your Bradford. And 5 to 2 is your draw. I think I'm going to go with a 2 2 draw down the middle. Point split. And I think Bradford will be the happy to continue their recent run of events. Rochdale against Salford. Rochdale are struggling. Salford are doing A OK. Played each other three times in 2020. Another Rochdale, one for Salford. And two draws, of course. Rochdale, though, without a win in the last seven games. 17% form for the last six. Salford, though, just one defeat by six. And I'm 75% form for them moving forward into this game. Last round, though, in Rochdale over at Spotland's was a 1 1 draw back in March 2022. Salford, of course, drawing also against Crawley. Last round, Rochdale of course drawing with Carlisle last time around the odds on this one then shall we we've got uh, Rochdale 21 to, 20, 21 to 10 for the victory 9 to 4 is draw 13 to 10 is your way win Salford of course looking good and again I think they're in it this time around one near win for them over Rochdale to get the three points Swindon Town against Newport County of course over at Swindon now these two sides outplay each other 12 times done 14 6 for Swindon 5 for Newport County and we've got one draw Swindon though just one win of 6 for them 50% form over the last 6 however also one defeat past uh, 6 games with uh, drawing 4 uh, of the last 6 games Newport County though winning 4 of the last 5 6 times form for them moving forward last round though in Swindon was a one new win for Newport County back in April 2022 Newport County did lose though to Grimsby in in Wales, last round, Swindon with a nil-nil draw against Chillingham. It's actually been back-to-back -back games now without a goal. However, that other game was in the Football League Trophy against Crystal Palace Youth. Of course, coming at you on this one, the odds. What do we got here? 5-4 to is Swindon, 11-5 is your win. win 23-10 is your draw. I'm back in, of course, Swindon Town with a 2-1 win for them at home uh, to take the three points. And again, hopefully climbing the table for them. Uh, and then wrap it up, wrap, wrap it up. It is Wimbledon. It is Lake Norwich. It is, of course, a plough lane. Now, these two sides have played to the four times. 2015, two for Wimbledon, one for Lake Norwich, one draw, of course. 42% form for Wimbledon right now, winning two and, and losing two of the last four. Uh, meanwhile, Leighton Orient coming to just one defeat past five for them. In fact, one defeat past six, 75% form for them moving forward. Last round, though, in Plough Lane in the league. It was a one win for Wimbledon back in April 2016, of course. Uh, Leighton Orient picking up a two-nil win for Tramere. Last round, Wimbledon did lose to Stockport. The odds for this one, though, eight to five is your host, nine to four is your draw, 13 to eight is your away win here. Back in Leighton Orient with a one win at uh, Wimbledon today, three points, and again, remain top of the tier. But that's, of course, my take, and that's, of course, what the table would look like at the end of it, if I am right. It'll be Leighton Orient leading the charge, Stevenson second, Barry up to third once again. Stoffer remain fourth going down. Rochdale, Hartpool and of course Crawley in a bit of trouble as well. That's of course my take. Be sure to get your own picks in as well and we'll do it all again next weekend. But that's it guys and girls. Of course until then make sure you smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell and of course I'll see you soon for the next one whenever that may be. But until then we're done.